And you are now rockin' with the best Educated melanin, she beautiful and blessed Really one of them, but she ain't nothing like the rest I'm talking queen vibes, wifey energy ain't nothing less Why you so good to me, baby, that's the question You look so good to me, you never got a question They love it how we do it, how we pull up, we be flexing They ain't gotta like it, but oh yes, they gon' respect it She know she got it, if I got it, we ain't stressing I know you here forever, sorry to the next chick This one for the fine women, show me how you stepping Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's me and Dior. Um, I hope I sound good because I got a new mic and everything. It's not this, this is just for show, but <laughs> the mic is right there and it just sounds like a microphone. It sounds good though. So, um, the hands, it's the hands for me. Let me put my hands down. So I got on my story, my Instagram story. For the ones that don't follow me, I got on my Instagram story and I asked them to get some topics together for me. And these are the topics that they came up with. So these topics that these people came up with, it's not enough for a 10 minute video. Like as in I pick one topic and I make the whole video about that topic. So I'm going to talk about all of these topics in one video. <laughs> um, so the first one I'm gonna go with is being in a relationship that early. This person probably has been following me for mad long because I was in a relationship mad young and not a lot of people are the same you know not a lot of people's situation can work for you you know so if you're like 13 14 15 and somebody's trying to like talk to you and try to be in a relationship with you I feel like you should train yourself to not have no feelings like in the beginning because you never know the person's intentions you never know if they really want to talk to you or if they want something else you know so if you are young and you see like my situation your influence and you want to get in a relationship mad young it don't work like that you have to wait for the person to come to you don't go looking for a relationship and you're mad young because once you train yourself to not have no feelings and you're like nonchalant and the person is still chasing you i can't even say that because what if they still chasing you and next thing you know you start talking to them and then you let them in and then they violate you <laughs> you see like you can't really take advice like you, the only advice you can take from anybody is that voice in your heart, like on some real, like that's the only advice you can take because I'm trying to give you advice but like being nonchalant, like that's not really going to work. I don't think it's going to work because like I said, once you let them in and they violate you, like damn, like that's all I'm going to talk about for that one. So another one is men that gossip and on my end i don't really associate myself with men that gossip so um yeah this channel is not really for that like like i don't know like if i was to make a whole video about men that gossip i wouldn't have nothing to talk about because i don't associate myself with those type of people like those are b-i-t-c-h-e-s's and i don't associate myself with those type of men only real men on this side <laughs> um another one says evolving and i really love that topic and i would love to save that one for like a whole video because it just takes steps it's like a whole journey that you're on and you have to realize your mistakes and your lessons that you learn in order to like get yourself on that high standard so yeah i mean i could talk about my journey but like that's a story that i gotta save to tell in the long run so yeah <laughs> all right this is crazy because it's, it's like i'm not even answering them but then again like i said the only advice you can take all right another one of the questions is overthinking and ways to get rid of people who bring negative energy this topic right here a lot of you guys know in your heart who the person is that has all this negative energy but you're just too p-u-s-s-y to cut them off like you can cut them off you can stop talking to them but you don't want to or you're scared like like it be feeling like i'm mean but like i'm not like i'm just keeping it a bug like y'all can stop talking to these people when you're over all right what i feel when you overthinking about something obviously your body is trying to tell you something like like if you if something keeps popping up in your head and it's like like let me give you an example you're talking to this boy and you're sleeping at night and your brain and your body keeps telling you like yo he's outside violating you <laughs> he's outside violating you like you have to like believe that if you're not gonna believe that it's like your brain is gonna keep sending you messages like yeah he's violating you but then again 
you can't take advice from everybody because what if it's a demon, like a demon inside, like, cause all those voices don't really be legit. Like all those voices that you hear in your head, it's not legit. That's why you have to figure out which voice is you, that inner you. Like once you find out which voice is that inner you, you, you won't really be in no problem because your body's gonna tell you the problem before you're even in the problem, feel me? But like I said, not a lot of people are attached and like in tune with themselves. So let's just say like a voice is telling you that this person is violating me and they're not really violating you and you listen to that voice, now you just messed up your whole relationship because you believe in things that's not even true. Like, it goes deep. Like. <laughs> You can't really take this advice if you're not in tune with yourself because if you're in tune with yourself, you would know right from wrong. You would know that voice, which one is you and which one isn't. <sighs> As for overthinking, that's just how I think overthinking is. Not a lot of people will get this. <laughs> uh, somebody said your life story. I can't, I can't tell y'all that. Like, y'all could, I'll give y'all little hints. I be giving y'all little hints on my Instagram story and everything, but if I tell y'all my life story right now, it's not gonna be nothing to tell in my documentary when I'm 70, 80 years old, feel me? And I feel like my story is legendary. <laughs> everybody should feel like their story is legendary because everybody goes through stuff. And I feel like whatever you go through, it could really help the next person once the story is told. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna save my life story. <laughs> but I be throwing hints and with this Let's Talk About It journey, you guys might get to know me just a little bit more, but I will never let y'all all the way in. Ooh, I really like this topic, and I might just save it for a full video. Somebody said, the rift between Africans and Americans. If a lot of people don't know what rift means, like the split, the break, like... Um, that topic can be really touchy, but I feel like... If you're like me, like you're American, you was born here, but like you jacking your country forever because who's jacking America? Um, just always stay in tune with your culture. Like you have to stay in tune with that because if you don't, you're going to be straight out American and nobody wants to be that. Nobody wants to be that person that don't know where they're from, don't know their background, feel me? So that should be a full video i'm gonna talk about that in a full video by the way in the comments please let me know all of these topics that i'm bringing up let me know which one y'all want to hear a full video about and i swear i will take that into consideration oh overcoming trauma overcoming trauma so the way i overcame my trauma i'm still overcoming it <laughs> so i'm still overcoming my trauma because parents traumatize you and they don't even like it be the littlest things like like it be the littlest things that they like you can't even talk about it why because it's gonna it's gonna hurt like it, it's like you're violating them and they didn't really do anything but they did feel me so overcoming trauma shit is crazy i truly feel like not a lot of people is gonna want to hear this but some of the trauma that you have or you're like traumatized from you caused it and brought it upon yourself like if if you if you didn't then don't take this like don't but if you triggered and you like feel away that i just said that then you probably did like you probably are the reason of some of your trauma feel me like you probably are but not a lot of people is gonna take accountability like I can take accountability for myself because I can lay out my traumas and like what has happened to me in my life and I could realize like hmm, maybe I did bring that upon myself but not a lot of people gonna do that so that could be another topic that could be like in the full video <laughs> becoming an adult and setting boundaries that's I don't think that's really that hard um, I don't think that's that hard. I feel like, like, I don't know how to be nice. I feel like a lot of people are P-U-S-S-Y, you know? Like, if you don't want to go somewhere or if your parents is telling you to do something and your body is really tired and you really don't want to do it, just say it. Like, just say it. I don't want to do it. I don't, I don't want to go. You know? Like, it's that easy. But... Not a lot of people is strong, so I understand that, but that's why you have to train yourself and make sure that like you ready, like 
boundaries yeah i don't want to go i don't want to do this i don't want to go for me like it's that easy but for the ones that's not that strong and just it's really hard to set boundaries you can write it down on a piece of paper you can write down like you could get a piece of paper you can make a list and be like i will no longer be taking my mom to the supermarket <laughs> you know stuff like that like let's say you're the oldest child in the house and you have like four siblings and your mother just keep telling you to take them to shower in the morning like you go, like if you really scared you're gonna make a list and you're gonna be like i will no longer shower my siblings in the morning like that's just certain people boundaries I'm, this is just an example and like if you're if you're helping your mother out then okay but like if she's sitting in the living room and she is making you do certain stuff that a mother is supposed to be doing set your boundaries like just just say it so this question says modern day ideology of gender roles and relationship so my personal like i truly truly feel like social media messes up a lot of people's relationships because they see a lot of different quotes and statuses of other people's opinions stating what they should do in certain relationships and what they should and what men should do and what women should and y'all just taking that y'all running with it and that's not how it works like you like everybody has their own relationship problems relationship like like i don't know how to explain it like Y'all take quotes and y'all run with it. Y'all see certain opinions on social media and y'all think that's the right way to go and y'all run with it. So, like, all that woman cleans and all of that, like, like, it depends. It really, truly depends. Like, like I said, like, you can't even give advice no more because sometimes my advice is just not gonna work for other people's relationships and stuff so yeah that was me answering the question y'all take quotes and y'all run with it and y'all just disregard what y'all have going on in real life like y'all relationship y'all disregard everything and y'all just read the quote y'all embed it in your head and y'all just like yeah this is this is what i want i want a rich man it's not it's not gonna be that easy like like if you're meant to have that then okay you can easily manifest that for yourself but to see a quote and go to your man that you have right now and be like yeah you get me mad because you're not rich <laughs> that's how y'all be like that's really how y'all be and that's just how i feel so this person said cancel culture influence on entertainment and social media people only get canceled in our generation because it's more people on social media that's how i truly feel because back in 2010 to 2014 that's when i feel like it changed from 2010 to 2014 that was the time to be on social media because it was just like if you see a hateful comment like you just see it and you you just mind your business because it's not your problem this is social media this is somebody else's opinion but nowadays from 2014 to now people are just like taking it and acting like the person is talking about them like y'all are showing y'all triggers y'all know that right like if you read a hateful comment that somebody said about you and you feeling something in your body and you like damn like now i gotta reply <laughs> this is gonna get a lot of people tight whatever that person said really triggered you and you need to heal whatever they said a part of you for real because you should not be triggered by a comment you really shouldn't <sighs> yeah it's really easy to get canceled like but on some real if i was to ever say some real ish on here and y'all try to cancel me like in the long run i really don't care you know why because i said what i said and it's facts as for that topic i just feel like um people should still say as they feel don't hold your tongue like because whatever you're holding if you don't want to say something on social media because you feel like you're gonna get canceled that's like living against like your will i feel because you're here to be free and speak your mind and speak like just you know freedom of speech feel me so like say as you please and if like you shouldn't be scared to get canceled like i just feel like people should do as they please but like don't don't say no crazy ish like don't say nothing crazy to the point where you will get canceled but if it's facts and it's triggering a lot of people they deserve to get triggered because go heal damn it looks like that just triggered me because <laughs> when you say a lot of real ish like it could trigger a lot of people and yeah that's how you get canceled say as you please and do as you please like it's a free world like you can't sit here and tell me i can't you know 
Well, I got another one that says dating in high school. It says I'm in high school, which is why I'm asking. Like, be free, do what you want, protect your feelings. Like, number one, protect your feelings. Well, another person said your journey as an influencer. My journey as an influencer has been like a beautiful journey. Like, I don't even feel like I'm influencing people. But if I'm influencing you, if you see me as like a person that you look up to and like you're just like, wow, like she really be talking some real ish. <laughs> That's what's up. Comment down below if that's how you feel. But I don't really see myself as an influencer. I see myself as me and you off. If you want to keep it about like, cause like I don't title myself. I'm not here to like, like I'm not in. I don't know. I don't know. Like, like maybe that's what it was that made me stop with the hair and stuff. Because if I'm sitting here trying to influence people to buy a certain like product and you out here violating my people that I'm telling you that your stuff is good, I don't like that because that's putting bad like bad mojo on my name. Like yeah, me and Dio said this was good and then I got it and it wasn't. Like I don't like that. I don't like that. So yeah, I don't really see myself as an influencer. Just look at me as me and Dio of like Deal. So this is a better question. How did being a YouTuber change your life? I mean, it's nothing bad to be an influencer. Like it's I don't I don't it's nothing bad. Like don't look at it as like the way I just said it, like, oh yeah, she don't want to be an influencer, she don't like being called an influencer. It's nothing about that. Like y'all can call me whatever y'all want, but I would really rather y'all just call me mean to y'all. <laughs> it hasn't really changed my life. It, I feel like it only changes, it didn't change my life yet. Like it's going to change my life because I could see the future. I could see like me being big and everything. But um, yeah, it didn't change my life yet. But in my head, it changed my life. And I can't wait to talk about it once I'm there. Okay, so this will definitely be a whole video. This one said, you should talk about self-love, healing, confidence, and following your dreams. Even though this is like the previous, my video, my first video back, I feel like I talked about looking at my car just to make sure that you guys can't really see it. And I'm only looking over there because I got this big screen over there and I'm just looking at myself like. <laughs> but yeah, I hope y'all can't see my CVV. But um, yeah, so I feel like, okay. I feel like that topic is in my first video back because I did bring up the herbs that changed my life. And um, um, I did talk about my healing process, but I didn't really talk about it because I said it just happened and it's going to be a minute for me to look back on it. But I will definitely make a video about confidence, how to have confidence, even though like, like can't really take advice, but, um, yeah, I will definitely make a video about that. Another person said how IG is influencing our love life. I love that topic, even though. I recently just said something about that, how y'all take certain quotes and y'all run with it. She said, our love life, <laughs> y'all love life. <laughs> like I don't let Instagram or none of these social websites like, like influence my love life. Let me just say something. If you read a certain quote, like a certain quote, and it like ticks you off, like it triggers you, then you can be like, oh, okay, like this post was God sent, <laughs> maybe. But if you read a quote and it has like it don't trigger you as nothing like you just like you probably just want to be that quote like that's when you're like influencing it on your love life if that makes sense. Not a lot of people will get that. Not a lot of people will get anything that I say but I feel like within a few years when we're watching my videos and like five ten years in and I'm just watching it. Then I would be like, wow, I was talking some real ish. <laughs> Cause only time can tell. Like people will watch something and they wouldn't get it. And then something in the body would tell them to go watch it again. But like probably two months in, three months in, go watch it again because you probably really need to hear that. Certain people don't hear certain stuff when they need to. Like even when they do hear it, they like try to silence it because it's so much facts. So on that note, if you get it, okay. If you don't, I'm sure you'll come back and like rewatch it and be like, oh, okay. It's like almost everybody is asking my journey as an influencer. 
how did being YouTube, you know, change my life? That's what almost all the questions are. But I really, really, really love these topics. But like, I'm gonna need you guys to really comment out of all these topics that I said a little bit, I touched on it just a little bit. Like, comment down below which one y'all feel like deserves a full video, like a full video of me really talking about it. Feel me? Yeah, because it's what y'all want. I'm just here to, I'm the vessel. I'm just gonna give y'all, you know, what I know, my information, but like, I feel like you guys should really comment. Let me know. So as of right now, that's all the topics that I have from my Instagram story. Um, um, yeah, so that's all the topics that I have right now. And make sure that you let me know which topic you want to hear like a full-blown video on. Because I would really touch on it more. Because I feel like I touched on it in this one, in this video. But, you know... Some topics deserve a 10 minute lengthy video, so um, yeah, just let me know. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will be recording more videos. Um, I want to actually make a schedule for myself because, yeah, I need a schedule for myself. Certain days where I drop in the week, it will probably be two days in a week. Once I get this phone on, it's clipped. Like, it's really lit. And yeah, that's it for today. Bye, guys.